I have no OTA video prepped. All I know is the leaks like the rest of you, and I'm hoping that they're bait because they're really fucking bad. It's gonna be tough fucking sledding if the leaked, what's leaked is the actual changes. No, we've never had a, uh, I'm scared too, and we've never had, the leaker's never been wrong before, but they've also been actively working to try and pin down the leaker, so I'm hoping that maybe they fed them bad information. Arrows anyways. My body's fully prepared to lose my havoc to a Shang-Chi. The US agent might be Shang, that's true. Put you to negative one, bud. Get you controlled. <laughs> Again, or what are we doing? Play in one to ten. Nope. Okay. Victory. Ah, cozy gamer, don't we all? <laughs> definitely open for US agent next week I think I think silver sable is gonna be a solid card and if you're missing US agent or mockingbird you should 100% be spending your resources next week will be a great great pickup Opponent snapped. 
the Sakaar is not stellar for us. Got a bail. Escaped. It's honestly difficult not to like Cozy. He's like Marvel Snap's own personal Mr. Rogers. Okay, now they're probably just snapping on one because they have a lot of tickets like some other people. Or maybe their hands cracked two games in a row. We'll find out. I'm saying this time our hand's good. the same room it would collapse into a nicest black hole singularity that's honestly probably true to play two cards here because of the debris. Their Red Hulk is 16. Their Red Hulk is 13. This puts me to... This beats Red Hulk center, yeah? Because it'll be nine. Yeah, this beats Red Hulk Center. Unsure if I'm ready to be Killmonger. Perhaps I should have snapped them there. <laughs> I guess they just assumed there was going to be one more turn. They weren't paying attention to the snowbird. TA delayed due to them adding Arrow back to her former glory. One can only cope, right?
I feel like I'm about to get cluttered. Oh, this overfills my hand. Yeah, I should have played out one more thing. Man, I almost played center too. I didn't realize Sage was going to be that much smaller then. What's it called? Star Lord, yep. Escaped. I was down sick most of yesterday, so I didn't really play much of the new Genshin zone yet. I think it's this into Bass Marble Boy next turn. Oh, Acid Arrow Marble Boy. OTA scheduled for today. Not 
So this is <sighs> plus 10 here in the middle. It only gets me a tie. I guess I lose to Red Hulk on the left. Breaker, breaker, give me some news. I got hot. 17 points over you. Gamers, I'll be back to suffer some more for your viewing pleasure in 120 seconds. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. Toth, are you in chat? Can you pick me on Twitch chat side? I see your message on Discord. It's just easier to gift the sub if you chat. Send the message. Blood fan, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate it. The Keep Bishop season pass art is stellar. For sure. I was just wondering, do we have anything that's useful here? We do a little bit at least. Eagle, six for the 15 months. This is probably a tough matchup for us. 
Although I guess US Agent might let us steal. go to 29 here. I'll be at 11. Yeah, I think I was just counting. I think I need to have it right, actually. Yeah. They go to 29. I'll be at uh, 11. And then 16, 19. That's still not enough, though, right? I think we're still short on the red skull, huh? Are we supposed to let Mindscape go so they lose their Taskmaster? Yeah, maybe. Oh, we beat Typhoid Mary, though. Should we cover Ebony Maw on the left? Yeah, probably. Because they're losing four in the middle and I'm gaining six, so I probably don't need the extra three on Thena. Covering Ebony Maw is probably better. <laughs> This cover this covers Taskmaster plus Ebony Ball. Thank you for the 18 months. Appreciate it. sub only chat to be a permanent thing again I'm just feeling rather sick today and I was having a hard time keeping up with the rate chat was moving and I expect if the OTA goes live as leaked chat's gonna be pretty unmanageable
Is our opponent just roping us now that they lost the A-Cuber? <sighs> the, the amount of people just roping constantly during Infinite Conquest today has been truly miserable. Just the worst sort of human beings. Task plus Ebony Ball this time around. Would I have won if I would have played Sage on the right? Or the left? I'd have won with Sage on the left, yeah, actually. I didn't need her 10 in the middle. Yeah, I actually didn't need her 10 in the middle. Should have counted that better with the early Havoc. Everybody asking if the OTA is delayed. The last few OTAs haven't dropped until 4 p.m. Central. It is currently 3.15 Central. So we are quite literally exactly running it according to expectations. convinced at this point that people who work at second dinner don't actually play Conquest. I feel like I feel like there's no way you could play Infinite Conquest on the regular and experience how much roping this game has and be like, yeah, it's cool, it's no big deal. Just be like, yeah, more of more of that in my game, please. This person's play rate slowed way down after we won eight cubes off of them in the first match. 
They are 100% BSB being a pillar of sodium because they're in a bad spot. Think being a streamer increases the amount of rippers you encounter? No, I don't think so. I think I think most people playing Marvel Snap have no idea that streamers exist, and they have no idea who I am. You got to remember that if you're someone actively seeking out content for Marvel Snap, you are automatically in a small minority of people. Most people play these games very casually, even people making it to things like Infinite Conquest. Agents, appreciate the heavy lift. You are my favorite 211. Victory. This agent's a very real Marvel set card. I expect his play rate to go up a good bit once more people have access to him after next week. Guard, bird, and bear are okay stats wise. Uh, they're probably fine. Bear, bear could maybe get a plus one, but I think they're close. My Bastard Sage, unlucky. Question's going to be, can we keep up with Gilgamesh on the left? I 
think I think the answer is gonna be yes. Agent Agent plus Sage is a pretty pretty potent finisher here. They're Gilgamesh. Let's say they play a one drop and they play Gilgamesh. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Their Gilgamesh is 17, which puts them to 26. Which means they could get an additional two. So they, they cap at 28 here. So this, this beats Gilgamesh left, right? Does it beat Sage left though? They have my, they have, they have my copy of Sage. Sage is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. She's 13, 14. Gets the yep smaller smaller than Gilgamesh. That came down to the Marvel Boy, didn't it? We were very likely to win that, but if Marvel Boy went both left, we'd have tied and then lost, I believe. Yeah. We'd have lost four in each of these. We'd have lost the breaker. gonna get salt roped again can we get a wellness check on Fortnite balls is uh, mobile device I just they just closed the app Or should I? Should I queue some of these up, chat? This feature is so bad. It's so atrocious. Legendary Epic. It's such, it's such a terrible feature. <laughs> uh. Not the best I wanted for Christmas. But it's another 12 card deck enjoyer here at least.
the locations they go, where they stop, nobody knows. This is a Sandman gamer, yeah? We think? My, my expectation? Well, it is an era ship, so yeah. <laughs> oh god, I hate. That's so right that it hurts. And so right that it hurts. Ugh. Actually disgusting. Oh, actually, I should let them eternity reach me, huh? Because I have Marble Boy. I think. Me plus seven on the left gives me plus seven in the middle, gives me plus six and then minus four on the right. Like odd Proxima stuff here, by the way, not Sandman. As a point of reference. Creakly, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that. I can assume they're not a Shang deck. Actually, do I do this now and then Stogard next turn? Lock is what I mean. It's unreal how good this game feels. They're not playing against one of the toxic decks. Mood.
Uh, they're not necessarily Dark Hawk. The Nebula makes me think they're probably not Hawk. Usually that would be like Quark or something. You don't have room for Nebula on the ones, but could could be Hawk still, you know. I think not a guarantee my friends, though. So brutal. the bottom card of our deck. <laughs> well, based on how the rest of that went, yeah. I don't know if my heart can handle another every bit of variance goes wrong eight games in a row round five today, chat. We already had one of these earlier. I don't know if my body is prepared to experience a second. It's been, it's been tough sledding today. They are the Dark Hawk build. Interesting. I guess Cassandra Nova made that slightly more likely. That makes the where am I playing my acid arrow question a little bit easier, I suppose. Hey man, I'm cool. I think I need to get US Agent and Pig out of my hand. So that way, uh... I 
I think I need to play the Nico out because if I draw three, I want to be able to. I'm gonna be able to play two threes because there were two threes in my deck, Sage and Marvel Boy. So their Dark Hawk's gone. We saw that from Hotel Inferno. So their biggest thing I think they can put over here is probably Proxima Midnight, and she's getting minus four. So I think I put this here to give me plus five in the middle, and then I put this here, and then we're good to go. They have to, they have, to have something pretty atypical. Their Black Bolt and Proxima, I think, are their, the only big things left. Hey, Coleman, thanks for sticking around to the tier one. Appreciate that. Heading into round five, there's only been six total cubes lost on each side. It's wild. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is really good against their Dark Hawk, yeah? I think I just do this. Means my Sage gets porked, though. It might be right to wait and eat Hawkeye so Sage doesn't get porked. Is it ever this so I don't get cut off a draw? I guess this so I don't get cut off a draw. Victory. What do you think the last two cards in their deck are? Uh, we know one of them is Dark Hawk. Oh, uh, Dark Dark Hawk and Nocturne. We saw we saw uh, Nocturne earlier from a uh, discard. No, they don't play Shang Chet. The only the only even thing they play is Proxima to hit with their Moon Knight. We know we know they have Dark Hawk and Nocturne. Determin Deterministically. I think I stay. Jeff's mood change when he plays into interesting decks is incredible. Yeah, it's funny how that works, so. Nico is always perfect, chat. See this fucking red crackle on this pristine artwork? Not my gate! Not my gate! 
Come on! Can I win a fucking 50-50? For the love of God. It's so frustrating. If every single Boon Knight 50-50 we've had during this set has broken for the opponent. Actually just bad dig. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? It's just like un fucking real. I'm so I'm so mad. <laughs> <sighs> Can I beat Darkhawk plus Stature? Darkhawk is nine. Stature is seven. This gives me 12, 16, 17, 18 more here, up to 25. It's just a flip, yeah? You win the flip. Time, lucky, rubber ducky. Go on the flip that counted, champ. We lost a 50-50, we lost a one in three, and then we we finally pulled it through. Alright. I got I got the one avatar I wanted for this season. I got, I got the one avatar I wanted for this season. A quick wrap on this one before we take a look at the OTA notes and have a crushing amount of disappointment. This deck continues to be one of my favorite ways to play Marvel Snap. Bast is one of my favorite cards. This decklist is super looking forward to Agent Venom. Probably slots in over Collector here, I imagine, but as is, it's really feels really reasonable as is. I think when more people get access to US Agent next week, they'll have a lot of a lot of fun with this.